Well, hello everyone. Welcome to Tuesday Tips Live. It's just awesome to be here again for another week and we've got a really special one for you today because we're looking at my live streaming portable setup. I'll tell you all about this in a minute. It's pretty cool. It's taken a long time for us to get to the point where we're pleased and happy with this and it's doing the job for us. So if you're interested in DJ live streaming, especially if you're interested in doing it away from your home, out and about, on battery power, in the middle of nowhere, doing a live stream from somewhere weird and wonderful, watch on. And even if you're not, I'm sure you'll find something fun about this bag unpack, because it's a bag unpack today. I've unpacked everything in our DJ bag to show you how we do this stuff. So look, if you're brand new to this, it's Tuesday Tips Live. We're Digital DJ Tips, the people behind Rock the Dance Floor, the number one selling book over on Amazon on how to DJ. We're also behind the Digital DJ Tips website, and you might have seen us on our YouTube page. You might be watching this on our YouTube channel, uh, and also on our Facebook and Instagram and so on. We teach DJing. Our passion and our mission is to get you DJing better. Uh, and this is one of the things we do on a Tuesday and uh, Every week on a Tuesday we do this. On a Thursday we do a similar any questions version of this. And we do live streaming. I and mean, this is a live stream, but you know, we do kind of DJ live streaming as well, which is what all this equipment I've dug out for you today is all about. This is what we use for doing DJ sets out and about. Uh, and uh, I'm dying to share it with you. I'm dying to show you. And really, I would, I would love you to tell me what you use and your, you, your views on this. We're still learning about this. I'd love to know what you think. So uh, if you enjoy this today, please do hit that share button. That's what helps us to keep doing this stuff. Uh, and if you are watching the replay because you weren't notified about this, it's probably because you weren't subscribed to the channel. So do that. And like us on Facebook and click the little thing that says show these posts first. And then you'll see a notification when we go live with shows just like this one. Just before we get started then, our, our customary uh, little run around the room to see who we've got here. So I'm gonna head over to our comment cam and say hello to some of our early people here. Lots and lots of Twitch family here today. Uh, so hello to everyone watching us over on Twitch. In fact, it seems to be uh, an awful lot of people on Twitch today, that's cool. Lovely to see it. Uh, and in fact, we're busy everywhere, so that's awesome. So hi to Don and Jack and Cody, who says, always great to tune in live. Hi to Nathan, uh, who says, good afternoon over there on Facebook, and uh, to Amar on Twitch. Uh, Tech TV, always here, Tech TV, and always good to have you here as well. Uh, so good to have you. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's great to have, uh, we're really, really busy, which is awesome. Uh, Benedict says, I hope you're well and looking forward to more friendly advice. Uh, if you're watching the replay of this on YouTube, by the way, and thinking, God, dude, get to the point. You're watching a recording of a show. This is a live show with interaction from the audience and stuff. It goes on for about half an hour. So we do have a lot of five minute videos and stuff, but this isn't one of them. Just to, to set that for you. Uh, hi to Salvation. Good to have you here as well. Uh, and uh, to uh, Dennis. Oh, Dennis, good to see you. Not seen you for a while, my friend. Uh, so uh, good to have you here. Right, shall we get started? We're talking about DJ live streaming, portable DJ live streaming, and I'm sharing with you the setup that we use. Use. So let's head back over to our uh, to our bench here uh, and let me talk you through it. So this is our setup. This is the one we're looking at here. This is what we take with us when we go out into the field to DJ live. This has got everything we need, absolutely everything, to DJ live uh, from anywhere. Uh, so I need to talk you through what's in here. Uh, and as I say, I'd love your views on this. You know, what are we missing? What would you take? What would you change? Uh, but I'm going to talk you through it all and we'll pack the bag together as well. So maybe the bag uh, is a good place to start because this setup had to have a few criteria. Number one, it had to fit in a bag that would fit under the seat of an aircraft. Really important. Two reasons. One, if it's a short trip to go and do some work somewhere, that's all you need. You know, I can stick a change of clothes in there as well. I'm done. But if it's a longer trip, well, we've got two carry-on bags. This one goes under the seat and the larger one goes overhead, right? So there's no hold luggage. I do not do hold luggage when I travel. So that was really important. So it had to fit in this smaller bag that goes under the seat because it also contains my computer and stuff I would just generally use out and about working anyway. So that was really important. The second thing is it all had to be battery powered. Uh, the third thing is it needed to operate on 4G. You know, uh, a lot of places where we do this stuff, there is no Wi-Fi available. We need to have a way of accessing 4G. Uh, and so that's what we were looking at. And of course, we had to get professional standard results. You know, we've been working and working and working. We've been live streaming since 2017. You believe that? But we, um, 
we had to get good results. You know, it had to look, look reasonable, it looked good enough. So that was important as well. So that was our criteria and let me talk you through what we found, what we take with us and I'll talk you as we go through each individual item, I'll talk you through why we do that. I'll probably do this all in one go. We normally cut back to your questions and comments but I'll do all the questions and comments at the end to kind of make it more useful for people who just want to see all this stuff uninterrupted. Right, okay, so I'll, I'll show you the stuff in the order I pack the bag in and then we'll pack the bag together. So let's just talk a bit about the bag. So it is one of those bags that is designed for that purpose, sticking under the seat of a plane. It's by a company called um, Gate 8, I think. I think they're called Gate 8. I might be wrong about that. Their name is inside. Yeah, they're called Gate 8, as in like the, the gate where you get on your plane. So it's got this big central compartment here, which is really important. Uh, and then at the front, it's got the, the laptop compartment and also a compartment for smaller bits and pieces as well. And it's got a zipper at the back, which you can use for you know, paperwork, uh, that kind of thing. That's, that's just an extra good place to have. It's got water bottle zipper on one side and another small one on the other, which I didn't unpack actually, but all I keep in the other small one, because I'm an old man, is my reading glasses, uh, because I have a separate pair for, <laughs> for driving. Don't get old folks. So, uh, so yeah, it has that there. So I didn't unpack those. But uh, right, let's talk about what's in it then. So the first thing I found that's really important when you're live streaming, uh, when you don't, when you can't control where you're live streaming from, is uh, to have a laptop stand. I mean, you're going to have to find something to set up on, but generally it's going to be low. So having a really good laptop stand is. Uh, it's just essential. This is quite heavy. I'd like to replace this with something lighter, but this is a really good one. It's by Hercules Stands, uh, and I love it. So until I find something lighter that's just as good and that goes up just as high, I don't think I'm going to assemble it fully for you now, but I'll show you the kind of height you get from it. You see, you get that kind of height from it. You see that? So it's quite a big height for a laptop stand. Uh, until I find something else that's got that height, I'll put up with the weight. So, and it folds nice and flat as well. Whoops, it folds nice and flat as well. So that goes in the bottom of the bag. That is our very first piece of equipment. It's the laptop stand. And that goes in the bag right at the very bottom there. It also acts as a nice cushion underneath for the more delicate stuff on top. So all right, that's that. So the next thing is we have got cameras and a tripod and I'm gonna show you the tripod first because it's the next thing I pack. So I've got a very cheap little tripod here, uh, but the reason I've got this is it, it's lightweight and that's the key thing. And it folds up to this kind of size. This bag is not very wide. So it folds up to this kind of size. And as long as you're careful with it, this hasn't broken yet on us. Uh, it's gonna work, it'll work fine. I'd like to get something a little bit more expensive and a little bit more hard wearing, but for now it works fine. Uh, so it's got a screw on the top for screwing the cameras. I'm gonna show you in a minute too. Uh, and then I won't open it all the way. It does open like this as you'd expect a tripod to, but then the legs open like that. So it's a full-size tripod. Uh, and that's really important. So that's for the camera that's in front of you, facing down at you and the decks, uh, generally. That's what that's used for. Uh, and as I say, this one, I think, treated carefully, that should last us, uh, but it's very, very lightweight. So that's good. This is all about weight, of course, because you don't want to uh, be carrying a bag that you can't actually lift as you're trying to wander onto the air aircraft with it, pretending it's under 10 kilos. I think it probably is under 10 kilos, actually. So anyway, that goes in our bag next, and that just about fits in there like that. So, the next thing that goes in the bag is our controller. Now, I've got a little Serato uh, tote bag here that I was given by them one time, which is great. At the moment, we are using the tiny little Newmark uh, this isn't actually the touch, this is the older one, and the Newmark DJ to go to. Uh, this is great as a backup controller, so I will have this in the bag so I can always do a DJ set. But what we normally do is try and source a controller where we're going to be DJing, or carry it up separately if it's a smaller controller. You know, this is a great controller for practicing on, but it hasn't got bass, mid, and treble, and so on. Uh, so one of the extra pieces of kit will be whatever controller, where we're going, if they've got a controller, we'll borrow one. Uh, I've done these on the new uh, Hercules Impulse 500 recently. The little mix tracks, got one over here. Uh, these are good little device to take. Sorry for going off camera there, but I had to go to the, uh, you know, they're not too heavy to carry. Uh, but I do like this one. And also, Newmark have just uh, kindly provided us with a party mix that arrived today. Uh, we've already got a party mix, but Joey's got it in the Philippines. Uh, and uh, because I want to be testing that, because it's got a light show on the back, so we can maybe set up some uh, reflectors and stuff just to give a bit of dynamism when we're DJing after dark. I don't think 
live streaming is about having flash gear. It's about having portable gear. These are awesome. I know people who've done whole radio shows on these. These are awesome little things. So there's our backup controller. And it's also there if we haven't got a controller at the place we're going to. Okay, so the next thing is the cameras. So here are our cameras in a little bag. It's just a little old headphones bag that I had knocking around. Now these are a bit of a find for us because they're a bit of a step up in quality from what we used to have. These are the little uh, Logitech stream cams. Let me put these on the overhead camera so you can see them a bit better. They're called Logitech stream cam. And these come with a little screw on the bottom that lets you screw that tripod in. Uh, they're meant to be connected to the top of your laptop. They come with a little hinge that lets you do that. You just take the hinge off uh, and uh, you connect it to your tripod. So this will be connected to that tripod I just showed you. Let me just go back to the front camera, uh, pointing down at me. These are quite wide angle in a kind of GoPro-y kind of way, uh, but they've got a really decent cable on them. They've got the new USB socket, which is really important for me because the, the Mac that we take has also got the new USB socket. You don't want adapters and stuff hanging out of sockets. And the quality is a real step up from the Logitech C922 or the 920s which we used before uh, it is a real step up so we've got two of these which gives us the camera in front and the little camera that we'll have set down looking at the decks or some other view uh, these are really really good I so they're not cheap but I do recommend them uh, so they just got good contrast and they also have a good app with them called the Logitech I think it's called the Logitech uh, creator app can't remember, I think I've got that wrong. But anyway, a good little app that lets you lock the focus and also get the brightness and the zoom and everything right uh, before you go live. So you can set these up and then you can tweak the way the pictures look on the app that comes with them, which is really, really nice. So I thoroughly recommend these. They were a good buy uh, and we're, we're very happy with those. We would happily make videos like this on them, you know? Uh, so they go in next. Right, what else have we got? Well, we've got a couple of these zip bags, everything should be in its own bag. You don't want stuff knocking around loose. The first one has our microphone in it. And our microphone is the iRig mic. This is a nine year old microphone, would you believe it? Uh, and the reason we love this one is it's got a socket on the end that's designed to plug into iPhones or Android phones, but also plugs perfectly, you know, when they used to have headphone sockets, right? But also plugs perfectly into the socket for the headphones on your laptop. So this is really important because the laptop has only got four, that laptop's only got four USB-B sockets in it. So if we're running on total battery power, that's all right. We plug the, uh, we plug the, because we've had a microphone before that is digital. It's over there actually, it's a really nice microphone. Uh, it's a digital mic, it plugs into one of the USBs, which gives you great sound quality and stuff. Trouble is there's only four USBs. So if we plug it playing somewhere with, with outlet power, with mains power, if we're using our, power brick, then that takes up one of the USBs, the two cameras take up two more, and the controller takes up the fourth one. There's nowhere to plug the USB mic in. So we thought, well, why not use the microphone socket? But it's quite hard to find microphones that plug into that socket because it's called a TRRS socket. It handles microphone and headphones. And a normal headphone, you know, a normal uh, mic with a normal headphone, even with an adapter, won't work on it. So this one has actually got that socket built in. This will work plugged straight into any computer. Uh, and, it's, and it sounds great as well. It does the job really well. So that is the iRig mic from IK Multimedia. Uh, and I can recommend that as well. We've uh, been very happy with it. So thanks to IK Multimedia for the kind of long-term loan of that piece. Uh, right, okay. What's in this one? Well, this one is a bit boring, really. Actually, no, it's got one interesting thing in. This has got a tiny little tripod. This little, you've seen these before, right? It's a tiny little bendy one. I think that's the, uh, I think they're, I can't remember what they're called now. It begins with a J. I can't remember the name of them, but they'll bend around anything. So you can have a camera set up, bent around a tree, bent around a piece of metal, bent around your, your, um, laptop stand if you want. Uh, so this is a great way of getting that second camera set up and working. Uh, and it's a lot more versatile than a mini tripod that's just got three rigid legs. So again, it's very, very lightweight. It doesn't weigh anything. Uh, it's a really cool little thing. Uh, and then we've just got a few cables in here for setup. So we've got a ethernet cable, which works with our adapter here. Should we need it, we can plug ethernet in that way. If ethernet's available to us, if not, we use Wi-Fi. I'll tell you about how we go live in a minute. It's also got the computer cable in it. Uh, it's also got an audio cable to plug into our speaker, which I'll show you in a minute. So they're all the cables that are specifically for live streaming in their own bag. Uh, and then they tuck in next. So talking about our speaker, uh, here it is. This is the one we recommend. 
It's a mini rig. Uh, you know, a speaker this size can't work miracles. It will distort if you push it too loud and get harsh and all that stuff. But it's really nicely made. Metal Bluetooth speaker. Crucially, it's got the inputs on the side so you can plug in a wire because you always want a wire coming from your DJ controller and not, not trying to use Bluetooth or anything shonky like that uh, because you get a delay on it. So this can be wired. It's solid. It's lasted us a long time. Uh, I can do nothing but recommend the mini rig speakers. Uh, so metal grill. Uh, it's, you know, you can't get lost in the music DJing with a speaker that size. If bigger speakers are available, if a bigger sound system is available, of course we'll plug into it. Just like if there's a better DJ controller available, of course we'll plug into it. But the point is I can live stream with everything in here without any extra help. So that's the speaker that we use. That's uh, the best one we found so far, kind of size to weight. Uh, very durable as well. So that would go in the bag next. Okay, so it's, um, I forgot to put the tripod back in here let's do that it's like going camping everything in its place and a place for everything right you want to know where everything is uh, so the headphones i use these iii headphones because they're very lightweight durable i think uh, some sennheiser hd uh, hd 25s would be my other choice uh, you want something light and durable that won't break if you accidentally sit on it or whatever so the other stuff well obviously we need a power cable for our laptop uh, I carry around the adapters for the other countries as well, the UK adapter, an American adapter. So these uh, general computer stuff tends to go in the front pockets and not in the live streaming pocket. The pocket at the back is my kind of live streaming pocket. This is the general computer stuff. So I tend to just stuff that loose in the front and the adapters tuck away in there as well. I use a pretty modern iMac, which does the job got the spec you need to do this that tucks in there as well uh, so this is a kind of breakout box which lets me plug in the ethernet and also just gives me a couple of other options should i need them to get extra stuff plugged in although i wouldn't recommend using that unless you have to because it tends to overpower you tend to find that the the stuff plugged into there is not very reliable especially if it's cameras and stuff they tend to just like flip in and out depending upon whether they're getting enough power remember we're running off battery here so the controller runs off battery the speaker runs off battery. We find you can get up to an hour from a fully charged MacBook battery running all that stuff. Maybe a bit longer if you, if you turn the brightness down, but we're often doing it in sunshine with the brightness up. So it doesn't last more than an hour. Uh, as far as getting online is concerned, well, I use a tiny little phone. This is just a feature phone, which has got a 4G modem built in. And that fully charged, again, will give us about that, that length of time before it cops out. I do want to buy a nice, proper, modem with a bigger battery in it uh, there's some nice ones but they're like 250 300 pounds same in dollars i guess uh, and i don't want to spend that money right now so this phone is doing the job for us it's acting like our modem and we connect by wi-fi from the computer to this and that sends a 4g signal out to the world uh, and then this is just another little bag which has got charging cables for bits and pieces in it and these two tuck away in the front of the just of the uh, bag here phone of course will go in my pocket uh, and that's it we're packed that is our full live streaming setup. It's easy to carry around. It's got a shoulder strap and we not only can, but we have gone live many times with that. And in fact, Steve uh, from Digital DJ Tips and myself are taking this to the top of a very high mountain soon to try and do a live stream uh, from there with a view across over Africa and Spain and so on. So we're really looking forward to doing that. So other things before we go and get your comments on this that I would, uh, I would like to have or I'd like to do. I've already mentioned I'd like to carry um, a router. You can get some very small portable aerials as well. I'd like to get one of those that screws into the uh, the, the, the Wi-Fi uh, router, and uh, it's got it's got a little card on the back for the 4G SIM card. Uh, so just to make sure I get a stronger signal. Uh, and I've also already mentioned I'd like to swap that controller out for the little Newmark Party Mix. Thank you, uh, Tone, and the, and the guys at Newmark for sending me that. Uh, and um, apart from that, it's pretty much. That's been pretty stable. We've been using that for months and months and months. Uh, it, as I say, it's stable, it works well, the connections are all good, uh, the, the, the laptop can power everything, and it looks awesome on our live streams. Go check out on this YouTube channel, a live stream that I did uh, two weeks ago. Uh, and it's, uh, it was in our holiday home. I set all that up in the back garden and just streamed from the, you know, from the pool. Uh, and it worked fine, did the job really well. Uh, so that's it. I'd love to know what you think about it. Let's go get your comments now over there on the comment cam. So hello folks, what do you think? 
Uh, I want to know what you think. Do you use uh, any of this stuff? Uh, are you someone who takes stuff on the road live streaming? Uh, uh, Fabi says, Denon Prime Go, headphones, iRig stream, iPhone and a stand. Yeah, the Prime Go. Uh, we've got one over here, actually. For those of you that have been living under a stone for the last few months, this is the Prime Go. Yeah, it's quite heavy, though. It's a lot bigger than that. It probably weighs as much as that whole setup. Not quite. But yes, I agree. Wonderfully portable if you're not having to carry it. If you've got a car or something like that to move the thing around with. Uh, and of course, it looks a lot better. You know, you've got to, you've got to style it out when you're DJing uh, with a, a tiny little controller. It doesn't bother me at all. But some people would be bothered by that. I do. Uh, I do. Uh, I do know. Uh, so someone uh, on, over on our YouTube group says that I feel us Facebook people have been neglected. No, you're not. We love you, Facebook people. Uh, so Dennis has been catching the repay recently, but it's not as much fun. Of course it isn't. Stuff will go wrong. Uh, soon there will be a Starlink router in there, says Bolton. Yeah, I think that might be one of the ones we were looking at. But anyway, I'm going to grab a pen and anything you guys and girls tell me uh, that uh, I should look at, I'm going to write down now because this is really much, really a um, work in progress for us. Uh, so uh, someone here loves the mini rig speaker. Yeah, we agree. The mini rig speaker is absolutely brilliant. Uh, so Stu uh, has been enjoying this topic. You're very welcome. Ian says, I love my Hercules stand, but you're right. They are a bit weighty. Yeah, I want a flatter stand than that. Uh, so Mike says, I remember when you reviewed that in 2014. Yeah, and it's the same stand. It's lasted us faithfully since then. Uh, it is really nice. Uh, and a good point from Bolton. I think I would want a bit of weight in a laptop stand. One thing we do, which I haven't got there, is we carry around a thick um, bungee clip. Yeah, that's what we call them in the UK. You know, an elastic clip with two hooks just to put around the laptop on the stand if it's windy because I get these horrible thoughts about the, the whole lot blowing over. Uh, all right, then I would... Um, digital portability is the future, guys, says Salvation Drum and Bass. Uh, will you have each like, item listed in the description? What a great idea. I'll write that down. Yep, that's a good idea. We'll try and get that done for you. Uh, so uh, Ken says, I have a tractor, a tractor uh, S2 Mark III and I carry uh, on a carry-on bag. It fits everything you need. It's an overhead bag, super lightweight, ba backup system, but I could use a video bag as it seems to be the new way. Uh, yeah, video bags are pretty cool. Um, what price are the cameras? I think they're about $150. Might be a little bit more than that, uh, Bolton. Uh, so apparently the mic's distorting a bit when I get animated. Let me just turn the mic down. See, rookie errors. He wouldn't catch this stuff if we were uh, if we were doing this uh, <laughs> on a recording because I'd just reject it and do it again. Uh, all right then. Uh, what was the camera again, please? It's the Logitech Stream Cam, Mark. Uh, all right then. Uh, do you use man? Uh, all right. So there's a Keaton. Your question. Uh, come and ask it on Thursday, Keaton, because that's an any questions session. Same time. Um, every time I open OBS, it resets my camera settings. Says Mark. Anyone know how to keep those settings in place? I don't because you could use a separate app. Like I say, we use a little Logitech app for that. Uh, so is it called Capture, says Sideshow Mall? You know what, I, I think it could be. It could be called Logi Capture. It's quite new. Uh, it's only for the Mac at the moment, and I think it's still in beta, but you can get a, a similar one from Logitech that's a bit older for Windows. Uh, so, all right then. Um, is it worth making a comment on the potential use of USB hubs here, Phil? Well, I kind of covered it off saying don't do it unless you've got them powered because of the issues they can in introduce. We just tried very hard to use only the sockets on the, on the laptop for simplicity's sake. This has all been about simplicity for us. Uh, all right then, so um, thank you everyone else who's helping other people out in the comments, you know, pointing out, oh, this might be a bit off topic. Uh, it's really nice. You know, remember Thursdays where you can come and ask anything, folks. Thank you, Tech One TV, for remem remembering that it's called a Gorilla Pod, uh, the uh, tripod, the Joby Gor Gorilla Pod. Uh, Dennis is sharing that with us as well. Thank you very much. Uh, you don't find DJing on that small of a controller hard to do with uh, without the high, mid, and low transitions? Oh, sure, I prefer to have them. But, you know, if you're halfway up a mountain, people will forgive you, right? Uh, but no, that's why we want to switch to the little Newmark Party Mix. It's got a few more controls. And it's got lights. So what we'd do is instead of having the lights looking all naff flashing away at the back, we'd zoom in so you could see the back of the controller. The lights are on the back of the party mix. It's like a little controller with built-in lights at the back. We'd zoom in so or move the controller forward so you couldn't actually see the lights. You could only see the control surface, but the lights were there and just giving, you know, changing the background and maybe use some, some something to reflect it back on me. Um, so Lee uses a booster charger for power. It has two USB ports and will last up to five hours. That's a great idea. Uh, and Lee uh, confirmed to me, does, you, does that also charge your laptop? 
um, that is something we've been looking at. We've been looking at getting a booster for that as well. So I'd love to know what model you use. Um, what about something like an iRig stream to plug into your phone? No, no, we plug it directly into the laptop and the only thing the, only thing the phone's doing is, uh, is um, getting the Wi-Fi from the laptop. This is a bit more of a assess, you know, you could stream from your phone, of course you could. We wanted something where we could have multiple cameras and, you know, separate microphone and use software to do, do, all, the, uh, uh, do all the switching between music and vocals and stuff. So yes, you, of course you could stream on your phone, but we, we want to do slightly more complex streaming than that. Uh, but yeah, good point, Cody. Uh, and good point, DJ uh, Lee as well. Uh, so, and DJ Ram, thank you very much, all of you for that. Uh, so uh, any of you asking questions that are not uh, directly relevant to this, ask them on Thursday. And uh, Ervik is saying, uh, you know, a, a big USB-C battery bank might be a good idea. Uh, and that is something I want to look into. So thank you very much for that. It's always good to remember to charge your stuff up as well before you head out to do this. Uh, lots of you asking about the charger. Uh, so Showtime says likes are free and they help the channel. Yeah, people, they're free. Click that like now and even better, click share now, please. Uh, and if you're not subscribed to us, subscribe now. You know, we love doing this stuff, but the more we can get the word out there about it, the better. So thank you very much for your support there. The money's in the post, Showtime. Um, so uh, I use my iPhone 10 as a webcam and I'm thinking about updating my camera. How much are the Logitechs? Yeah, I think they're between 150 and 200 US dollars. So they're not cheap. Uh, but they do, uh, they do a really, really good job. Uh, so Dan uses an Evermix box and a phone. Yeah, very good, even smaller than mine. Um, DJ Miguel would love to see a proper Phil Portable DJ live streaming uh, bag with your photo on it. Licensed by Digital DJ Tips. Wow, people carrying my photo around on planes. I'm not sure I like that idea, but uh, thank you for sharing it. Uh, the new Mark DJ To Go 2 is awesome for DJing on the go, says Joyce. Uh, so lots and lots of you. Uh, the Max Oak 500... Uh, 5,000, I'm writing that down. Thank you very much for the tip. 50,000 is it? Yeah, 50,000 uh, charger. Uh, so, all right then. So, uh, which iRig mic? What's the model number? It's just called the iRig mic and it's the one with the TRRS socket on it. I don't know the model number. Jack is pointing out that webcams are indeed out of stock anywhere, everywhere. It can't be long before they come back into stock now. Uh, but, uh, but yes, they are. Um, so apparently if you lock your settings in OBS, it will save them, uh, says McKenya. So there you go. Um, so if you, a lot of you are saying add a powerful uh, power backup. Um, so, uh, so yeah, I think that is something we'll be doing. Um, so all right then. Uh, oh, you're even sharing links to power backups. You are good people. So if you're on Facebook, uh, Nelly has shared a link to that power back up there. Uh, by the way, you can watch this all over the place. We are live on Mixcloud Live. Uh, we can't get the comments on the screen from Mixcloud Live, but to everyone over there uh, on our Mixcloud page, good to have you here. And uh, uh, DJLV2D just says, I was very curious to see what's on your table over there on Mixcloud. Well, we've done that for you now. You've had a chance to see it. Didn't you do a live stream at DJ Expo last year? Yeah, we did. We, we do them all the time at the Expos. Uh, Joey and I did one promoting his course at NAM the year before. Uh, and we're going to be doing, a, you know, this. what we do is going live. That's the way of it. Lessons are going, we do more live lessons now than we've ever done. What we do is going live. Uh, it was only the technology that stopped us doing it before. We love live. Live is better than recorded. Uh, and so we'll be doing a lot more of this stuff. But you're quite right, we did. Is that airplane, airplane friendly? What, the, the, um, the batteries? That's a good point. I think most of them are, but it's always worth checking. That bag is definitely airplane friendly. It's perfect for under the seats and it's just smaller than the, even the, the most strict airlines uh, carry on, but not carry on over the top, carry on under the seat, which I think is really important. Um, so we tried very hard to get that to fit. Um, so uh, I would just stream from an iPhone using a DJ Osmi Mobile 3, says uh, Kevin, uh, and a Pioneer Wego and a Duracell pa a battery bank. So yeah, thank you for sharing that, Kevin. Um, so Salvation's got a Monster Go DJ. Anyone remember the Monster Go DJs? If you don't remember them, do yourself a favour and Google it afterwards. It was a, well, it was a very interesting little device. Monster Go DJ. You're going to have a Google of it. Um, so Terence says you can get Logitech cameras on eBay for half the price. Someone's already always getting rid of them. Yeah, but those are new ones. And I like those because they've got the new style USBs on them. Uh, so, all right then. Um, 
Raymond says, hey Phil, I'm loving the rack of controllers at the back there. Must be great having all those toys to play with. As if I, I, I had time. I'd love to play with them all the time. But the only time I get to play with them is when I take one home and we do some live streaming on it. Uh, so, uh, so apparently uh, 26800 is the maximum airline approved battery pack. So that's really good to know that. I didn't know that. So thanks folks. Right, we're done here. Um, all I want to share with you now is um, that if you're really interested in all this stuff, we are actually in the middle of making a live streaming course. Now as befits a course like that, we're live streaming it to our first students. Um, we're making recordings of the live streams and that's going to comprise the course. So I don't know when that's going to be coming out, but do keep an eye out for it because um, uh, it's been really, really good so far, and uh, it's going to be teaching you how to do all this stuff. And begin, we, we teach three streams. We teach just want to go live stream on my phone. I want to go live stream on my computer, but I've only got one computer. There's only one of me. I only want one camera. I don't want to go on one service. You know that kind of live streaming and the kind of all out live streaming, uh, which this is kind of like halfway towards all out live streaming. Multiple camera angles, streaming to more than one service, all that stuff. So we teach all of that. So if you're interested in any of that, keep an eye out because there is a course coming your way uh, about that. Uh, and uh, so yeah, we're done here. Uh, Johnny says thank you for. Great content from DJ Johnny C in New York. Uh, Michael just says, uh, thanks, Phil. Uh, I'll be here on Thursday again doing the all open hours Q&A or open session. So any questions at all you've got on Thursday about your DJ, that's the time to ask them. It will be live from here. And I'll be live using that setup from my balcony, my home balcony. So I will be pulling mains power in. But apart from that, I'll be using everything you see there so you can see what it looks like on Sunday, uh, about half an hour from now. So whatever time it is, wherever you are in the world now, half an hour's time, I'll be live on Sunday. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you come and join me then. Uh, so Mo says, too cool. Showtime Ent 404 says, uh, bless up. Tech TV, thank you for the stream. Have a good day. Uh, so uh, Salvation Drum and Bass, peace and love, guys. Thank you very much. Black Eagle, you know we're always here for you, Phil. Much love. And Charlie says, great teacher. Guys and girls, thank you very much. Now get good, get out there, make the moments, and I'll see you again on one of those live streams very soon. Bye-bye, people.